Crave spiritual gifts. You need the gifts of the Holy Spirit to be effective and successful in your walk with God. You cannot defeat the attacks of the gates of hell without the gifts of the Holy Spirit. If you don't separate yourself from lust, fornication, dirty mouth, and gossip, you will be spiritually weak. Your vessel needs to be clean for honor and glory to dwell in you and fill you up to overflowing and running over. 2 Timothy 2 verses 21 to 22 says, Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Flee also youthful lusts, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Throw away the filthy garments of immorality and sin. You need to clothe yourself with power and the gifts of the Holy Spirit and start binding the demons afflicting you. Always put on the garment of fire and power and be constantly filled with the Holy Spirit. It is mandatory, and it is a commandment. If you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, there will be a hole or crack in your protection that the demons and witches will use to climb into you and afflict you. You need constant protection and cleansing. The power and presence of the Holy Spirit is your cleansing, healing, and protection not praying fervently for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And the power of God indicates pride and self-dependence. Jesus needed the power of God and gifts of the Holy Spirit. He was totally dependent upon God. Luke 6 verse 40 says, Everyone who is perfectly trained will be like his teacher. Jesus constantly paid the price for the power of God and gifts of the Holy Spirit by spending time in the fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Seek God's face like Jesus, and you will be victorious. Jesus showed us the way, so imitate Him. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 1 says, Pursue love and desire spiritual gifts, but especially that you may prophesy. Constantly desire spiritual gifts and pray for spiritual power and gifts every day. You need God's power. Do not be deceived. Without God's power, all you have is your flesh and the flesh can never defeat witches and demons. The flesh cannot bind the enemy. The flesh cannot have authority over all the powers of the enemy. Luke 10 verse 19 says, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hebrews 2 verse 4 says, God also bearing witness both with signs and wonders, with various miracles, and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to His own will. Learn how to partner with the Holy Spirit and always do what He tells you to do in spiritual battle and deliverance. It is the Holy Spirit that will tell you that your spiritual battery is critically low. The Holy Spirit will tell you when you have a crack in your aura, amor, and spiritual garments. The Holy Spirit will tell you when you are spiritually unclothed and unprotected. The glory of God or manifest presence of God is the gift of power that God wants to give you. You need power. You need the constant baptism of the Holy Spirit. You also need the constant baptism of power. Don't ever be spiritually unclothed. Don't ever let your spiritual battery or manifest presence of God in you get low or completely dissipate. Revelation 3 verse 17 says, Because you say, I am rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing, and do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and unclothed. The witches and demons constantly monitor believers, and they will invade you and attack you if they do not see the fire and presence of God inside you and around you. Having the constant presence of God is not an option. It is mandatory for constant victory. Revelation 3 verse 18 says, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire, that you may be rich, and white garments, that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye salve, that you may see. Jesus is advising you to buy gold refined in fire. Gold represents the power of God. Do what you need to do for God to clothe you with power. Spend time in God's presence, wait upon the Lord, seek God's face, and flee every appearance of sin and evil. 
Jesus is advising you to clothe yourself with white garment. White garment represents the Word of God and purity. The Word of God is pure, seven times purified. Jesus is advising you to anoint your eyes with ointment. You need to fill your mind and soul with the light of God's Word so that you can think and see clearly. You need the crown of wisdom. Revelation 3 verses 20 to 22 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him, and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my Father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. You are the one who will willingly open your heart for the glory of God to fill God's temple. Jesus is the glory of God. Jesus wants to dwell in your heart and dine with you. He wants you to eat His glory. The cloud of God's presence is the real food you need that will cleanse you, heal you, and keep demons away. The Word of God is food for your mind and soul. The glory of God is food for your spirit, man. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 2 to 4 says, all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. All ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. You need to be constantly under the protection of Jesus. Jesus is the rock that never fails. To those that overcome, Jesus will anoint them to rule with Him and cast out demons. Make up your mind to constantly experience the glory of God and rule over the powers of the enemy. God has given you the authority. Authority is your birthright and inheritance. Power is your inheritance and birthright. Fight for your birthright. Fight for your inheritance. Be obedient and pay the price by buying gold, white garment, and ointment from Jesus. You can only buy the glory of God by being completely submissive and obedient to the Word of God. Buying the glory of God requires constantly putting on the complete armor of God and constantly praying fervently for power. It is completely spiritual. All the armor of God is spiritual. Power requires selflessness and giving up prayerlessness, indiscipline, ingratitude, and sin. It will cost you something. Spiritual power is not for lazy people. You need to constantly seek God's face, pray without ceasing, rejoice always and passionately, ask God to constantly baptize you with the Holy Spirit and power. May great grace be upon you in Jesus' name. Amen.